And hey there, and welcome Mitchell. to Measure Summit 2020. I'm here with Chris Mercer, Mercer as also called. Um, yeah, what should we talk about today? We are here now at the pre show, we right? Fill some time, right? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, the most important uh, question in tech can you guys all hear us? That would be great to know. Uh, let us know look in the chat. chat. Yes, definitely look in the chat. Pro tip on that chat, by the way, you can pop out that window. So in the chat, lower right hand corner, there's a little there's a little icon you can do to pop out the chat if you want to keep it somewhere off on the side. Super useful. Right. We are also uh, being joined by people on YouTube and on um, Facebook. So if you see it over there, guys, uh, we are doing the pre-show right now. If you want to see the whole thing, you probably want to register right now for measuresummit.com and join us there inside of our area um, where we have the live stream. Uh, we have people already saying that they can hear us. Um, we have uh, Michael here, Julie, Carl, Hussein, a guest, um, Shiox, Maria, and uh, Vin Vinches, Vinicius, and Joans. Great to see uh, some activity here in the chat. Rob, sure. Yeah, this is excellent. This is excellent. Thank you, everybody. Okay, cool. So we have a cool stuff for you planned today. Um, we will start with our full sessions in just about 50 minutes. Yeah, 50 minutes. And we'll start out with a bang. Uh, Simo Hava is going to be here. Um, we already have great content up. Maybe we can. I can just share my screen what we are going to cover today. So let me know if you can see this as well. So we have uh, on day one, we have the fireside chat with Simo. Then we'll go into a little bit of remarketing, Google Ads remarketing with the master Mike Rhodes. We are going to hear some data studio tricks and secrets from Ahmad Kanani. And then Google App Plus Web, Charles Farina. And last but not least, David Kravit is going to show us how a um, what is this? How to turn your measurement work into a product? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's go back. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's going to be a good day to get us caught up. And and I think you know David's was interesting too for me because it was it was like hey all the skills that we have as measurement individuals we don't realize the value that the marketplace you know that we can give the marketplace for that. So I thought that was awesome. Um, I always learn stuff with a mod. So I think his is going to yeah. be great for Data Studio. It's kind of like the new upcoming tool that everyone's really getting into now. Right. Um, you know, goes without saying, Simo for sure. As yeah, we talk about the fireside chat, that was a fun discussion, I think. Um, yeah. And uh, who else do we have? The remarketing grid um, was a new concept that I learned from Mike Rhodes. Really interesting. And then we have uh, also Charles Farina, who's going to talk about App Plus Web, which is obviously the big thing that we all need to get used to in the future. So 100%. that's going to be also interesting. Yeah, and cool. I, I like the topics that we've got because it's going to be a little bit of stuff that everybody can actually take action on now with mm. what is the current world of today with measurement and these different platforms, uh, but also kind of planting seeds for the future. Like you were saying with apps and web, it's going to be a, a you know a year from now, we're going to be all in that playing around yeah. with it. So it's a good, good chance to, to learn some new tools. Do you want to go through kind of a tour of the, the site and you know talk about the different aspects of it? I want to make sure everybody is aware of, uh, sure. of what's available. Um, like. Do you want to share the... Share your screen or should I share my screen? I can I probably need to log in first then. It's, it's your choice. <laughs> Let me, then I have to coordinate with what you are saying once you <laughs> take us through here. Let me, let me just uh, log into the site and see if I can actually do this correctly. Feel free to let everybody know what we've built for them and yes and then I'm so gonna i'll switch talk over. i'll talk through it and then and then julia kind of give us a tour um so at the the top of the nav so you're looking above the video you'll see the top of the nav um is is the different sections that are available so this live event it should say the day number that we are currently on so currently today it'll say live event day one tomorrow it'll say live event day two etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's how you know you're on the right stream uh for the live event remember if you're a free ticket holder, you've got 24 hours to, to watch this entire thing. We're going to give you access to all the sessions for 24 hours. 
Um, this is especially for our friends in Australia, who this happens to be like the opposite time zone and on, on that side in, in Asia. So, um, you know, you've got time. You can watch it at your convenience. The second thing next to the live event tab is the, or in the navigation is the sessions. So if you click on the sessions, as Julian is now doing, you can see this here. These are our different speakers. They are, or, they are uh, organized by when they are going live. So currently, if you click on SEMO right now, and you go to CMOS, you will see uh, that it's got a little pre-show video there. It's not quite ready yet, but once CMOS talk is live, and, and shortly after that, I should say, you're gonna have the video here. So it'll be just his session that will be there. Um, so you can rewatch it as much as you want. And again, for free ticket holders, you have 24 hour access to that um, before it goes away. If you're an all access pass holder, by the way, thank you, of course, for supporting Measure Summit 2020, and you have unlimited access. You can watch it whenever you want, as often as you want. So you'll always have access to that. Um, next to the speakers and the sessions, you can click where it says virtual booths. Now, uh, this is your chance to learn more about the companies represented by our sponsors. Uh, Supermetrics, by the way, thank you. They are a premier sponsor for Measure Summit 2020. Uh, also, MeasureMarketing.io, Verify Data, Measure School, and then you start to see our speakers and their companies um, that are so David Krevit with Coding is for Losers. You've got uh, Justin Rondo with Digital Marketer, uh, Chris Seiden with KS Digital, Mike Rhodes with Web Savvy. Uh, we have Julius with Analytics Media because I'm, I'm going to mess up Julius's last name. It's the only reason I'm not saying last name. <laughs> Julius uh, Analytics Media, yeah. yeah. Julius from Analytics Media is how we know Julius. Uh, Paul Koch's over at um, Online Metrics. Ben Collins, of course, at um, Collins School of Data. Uh, Christina over at Better and Stronger. And then Brian Massey, Conversion Sciences. And Hussein from UTM.io. How's that for a pop quiz? I think I got them all right. Yeah. Uh, so we've got so, our, our virtual booths back there. Click on those and you'll see, you'll learn more about the companies, more about the organizations supporting Measure Summit. Um, there's different offers that are back there that are available to you because you're here at Measure Summit. I will emphasize Supermetrics is giving off 20%, giving away 20% off. So anybody that doesn't have a Supermetrics connector or account or wants to create that, you have that ability to do that. So you'll learn more about you know what's here and, and buttons to go do that. Pay attention to some of the instructions that are in here too. Make sure you go through and read these because some people need you to just mention Measure Summit. Some people have a coupon code. Some is just a link. Um, so, and if you have any questions, you can you can ask us um, in, in the uh, community section, which I'll talk to in just a second. Now, next to the virtual booths in the navigation is the sponsors tab. And of course, this is just another chance for you to see who is an actual sponsor of Measure Summit 2020, Supermetrics as the premier sponsor. Thank you again, Supermetrics. And of course, Measure School, Verified Data uh, and MeasureMarketing.io. So you can see everybody's uh, booth there. This is just link over back to their booth so you can learn more about them. And then finally, this is kind of a, a newer feature that we put in uh, that seems to be working out so far, which is good, is our community. Now, it's not going to look exactly, it's all based upon your access, so it's not going to look exactly what Julian Screens looks like right now because he's logged in with his super admin privileges. Oh. <laughs> but everybody has access to Measure Summit 2020. So, um, and then the, uh, everybody has access to the speaker Q&A. And then every, uh, the all access pass members have access to the all access pass one. So here you've got uh, in the community, you can click into the community and you've got a little discussion. People are already putting stuff down there. That digital analytics anthem is awesome. So take, take a look okay, at that. I, I want to read uh, this. I haven't. It was, it was cool. It's a cool little video. It's, it was, it was awesome. Somebody said that to me yesterday. Um, I'm going to say it's Taniak. I know I'm probably mispronouncing your name. I apologize. Okay. I'm trying to do that from memory too, but it is cool. Um, so make sure you watch that. It's uh, it's it's definitely right up our line as as digital uh, analysts. And I'm, then uh, I'm ahead. actually afraid to play it because uh, we yeah we probably get a copyright <laughs> strike or something. Good, yeah, good point. Um, but yeah, take a look at it. So it's there. Um, I have also gotten emails from people saying, "Wow, the support's been so awesome," which is we're doing our best, and I and I, you know keep understanding we've got thousands. We had ten over what is it near ten thousand at this at this point registered. So it's like getting in the almost crossing the 10,000 mark as last time I checked. So there's a lot of people that we're trying to run support for. Um, and, uh, and Julie and I are, you know, and our, and our companies in the background and our, and our team members in the background, you know, desperately trying to keep up with everything. So if you have something positive to say, which uh, I've gotten emails from people and I thought, hey, you know what would be really cool? And it's also in chat. I've seen people do this in chat, which is nice. But I thought it'd be really great to keep everything in one place so that uh, the Measure Summit team, everybody's helping out with Measure Summit, you know, the dev teams, the tech teams, the support teams, um, everybody can see all the positive uh, comments that are back there. And so if you've gotten a really great experience from support or something else, you want to give somebody a personal shout out, that's the best place to do it in the community uh, in that thread. Uh, just reply back to that. So you'll see that there. Um, and so with that, it kind of wraps up what is uh, available back there in Measure Summit. Now, on this page, the page you are currently looking at, 
you've got the schedule and you can flip through the different days if you want to see what's coming up. So day one, day two, day three, it'll adjust as you go. You of course have the live chat, which many of you have already found. Thank you for helping us out with that. By the so way, there's there's yep. a 30 second or 40 second delay on, on the live stream. So everything that you see here is probably 40 seconds delayed. And we will also react to stuff that you, uh, well, we will react to stuff in real time, but it will be 40 seconds delayed. Yeah. Right. It's it, the beauty of live stream is everything goes as, goes through its transcoding process. Right. Uh, but yeah, keep the live chat there. Uh, that's what the live chat is, and a lot of everybody can see that. Um, also, if you click on to the question and answer section, so this will be active. It currently isn't active yet, but what will happen is when the speakers actually start to speak, you will see at the bottom of the video, it's going to pop up and say, now presenting, Simo Ahava, GTM Firesat, and, and coming up next is this next speaker. And you will see that start to happen once this whole thing kicks off, which is about roughly about 30 minutes from now, um, you will see that. So when you have a question, the best place to ask is going to be the Q&A. The, the, the chat feature is gonna be probably too tough. It will be too tough. There's too many people back there to, to capture all of your questions specific to the speaker session. So if you have a speaker session question, pop it in the Q&A while that speaker session is going on. Now also, if you click back, uh, Julian, if you do me a favor, click back in the community and then go into the speaker Q&A section, because this is also gonna be important. Because we realize that not everybody can participate live and that's totally cool. Like we've got free tickets, you got 24 hours access to watch this stuff. Um, but in the community, there is the speaker Q&A. You can see all of these have been loaded. You will not see all of them yet. You're gonna see just now questions for Julian or Mercer. That's the only one that's live. But soon, when Simo goes live, you will see questions for Simo Hava. And so you can put your questions there as well. We'll make sure Simo gets them. I know Simo is, he's already been in the chat. Um, so he will be here live as well and be able to participate and answer some of those uh, as well. So we'll make sure that anything that you wanna ask a speaker, just remember if it's not there yet, when the speaker goes live, you will see that in the community feature under speaker Q and A, pop your questions in there, just create a thread and, and uh, respond in there. We'll make sure the speaker gets it and then we'll make sure that you have answers uh, there as well. So multiple ways to get your questions answered around the sessions. Right, also uh, to, uh, to to notice is that not all the speakers will be able to make it live. Obviously, we're doing this in different time zones and the speakers are also from different time zones. So uh, there will be a way to ask questions, but if they are not live on the chat, they will be getting them later on. So you will be made sure that your questions are answered, hopefully, if it's a good question. <laughs> always <laughs> think about the good question. That's what I, what I always tell my students. Uh, give me a good question and I will answer it. Good questions. <laughs> I love that. Is there any question that you've gotten that you just haven't answered? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I get <laughs> questions all the time. How can I get your courses for free, for example? That's that's one of the things that I just oh. ignore. <laughs> yes. Very, yes. very politely sometimes, I ignore. Sometimes, sometimes that's tougher. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so should we... But again, it's just something you don't have to worry about that because you've got yeah. free ticket holders at 24 hour access. Yeah, absolutely. All right, should we talk a little bit about who makes this all possible and maybe go Let's through... Do it. Uh, a little bit of our premier sponsor, obviously, is Supermetric. So I'm just going to go on their website, talk with them a little bit about them a little bit. So if you haven't tried out Supermetrics yet, I first encountered it really when I wanted to pull data from my Google Analytics into Google Sheets. And that's how they actually got started as a Google app script that you could install and then have a convenient place to pull the data. And it's a really nice interface in Google Sheets. I don't know if they have um, this still up, but it's it looks really... Um, yeah, it was the original. That's how we started with it too. We've been using Supermetrics <laughs> yeah. for years. And yeah. it was free um, back in the day, but they, they obviously found out that uh, you can make more out of this. You can pull more data into it. And over the years, there are more and more data sources that came out that need to be may be pulled into Google um, Sheets or other products. So they have Super Midwax for BigQuery, um, Data Studio, Snowflake, uh, Excel. There's an API, an uploader. So if you want to upload data to Google Analytics, for example. And um, they also offer services. Now, there is a free plugin out there or a Google App Script out there or add-on. Google Sheets add-on that you can pull in data from Google Analytics, but it's super clunky. I would say you really need to know a little bit what the API provides and then you can fill it all out. So 
really the interface makes the difference here and the convenience and also the scheduling in the end. So if you want to update your reports regularly, that is um, very convenient with, with Supermetrics. So I oftentimes use it obviously for, for Google Sheets, but then also Data Studio when it comes to pulling Facebook ads data, for example, into Data Studio. Um, BigQuery, I haven't used it quite as much, but uh, they actually uh, provided us a, a giveaway that you can also take part in where they're giving away one of these square metrics, uh, BigQuery licenses, and apparently that's, that's a pretty, pretty hefty price on it as well. Um, but yeah, for professionals, that might be something that you want to check out as well. So Supermetrics is something we definitely uh, would recommend, I guess. Absolutely, 100%. Like I said, we, we've used the, uh, the Data Studio connectors extensively. Um, they, are, they are absolutely useful for us. And if you're using BigQuery, take a look at that. It is, uh, it, you know, what they're, what they're starting to do, and Supermetrics is totally the right place, right time when it comes to the trends of data and everybody connecting and, and, and putting things into visualizations and trying to you know, crisscross all these different platforms as we're trying to transform data uh, to make it make a little bit more sense. And they are incredibly helpful with that. So definitely yeah. take a look at their page. Um, and and uh, I tell you, uh, Julian, we should also mention the giveaway. Right, yeah, um, let me pull up the giveaway as well. And that is also in your navigation. So everybody should see that at the top oh, is um, that of your now? navigation. If you, if you don't, yeah, if you zoom out a little bit, maybe you see it there. Okay. You should see it. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yep. Okay. So enter the giveaway is there for you. And so um, that's where you can now, if you uh, have already, you might, you know, you might see it says, oh, here's your link to share. If you've already entered, then you're, you're good to go. Um, otherwise you can't enter for that. And, uh, and this is what Supermetrics told us. They said, listen, we're giving away a year license to one of the Supermetrics products, kind of, a, of uh, that they were willing to give, including BigQuery, which they told us was between a 20 and $25,000 value, which is absolutely amazing. So if BigQuery yeah. is up your alley, take a look at it. But again, if you're not using BigQuery, you can use it for Data Studio or, or Google Sheets or whatever else, right? So you can use it um, for their connectors. It was a great, um, great thing that they gave us. So again, thank you, Supermetrics, for supporting the giveaways and for helping make and Measure Summit just a little bit more fun. Right. And uh, should we continue with the sponsors or should we go through the giveaway really quickly? We haven't really talked Let's about it. Let's go to the the, the sponsors will come back to the giveaway because okay. yeah. Verified Data was also our next one and, and they also did a little bit of giveaway, which was great. Yeah, and uh, Verified Data is the company of Brian Clifton and what they provide is a um, Google Analytics audit tool. We can actually uh, try it out. There is like a demo access here. It's quite neat because uh, it goes through your Google Analytics account and makes it possible to do quick audits and also regular audits of Google Analytics. So when you look at account structure and so on, they, they obviously pull data from the API and then uh, go through stuff. But for example, PII compliance is super important. And if you, if you have PII in your Google Analytics account, it can flag that right away. You could use this for clients, for example. And I think they also then tell you like um, what they found and how to fix it and some information there. So uh, tons of knowledge in there. And what I love about it is, well, the, the quality score. That's, so that's something that Brian Clifton explains in his books as well, um, to come up with a score when you do these kind of audits. And that's an interesting part of how mature an organization or how good an analytics implementation is. And this is something you can really show your clients and make sure that their analytics are set up correctly so they'll be able to um, yeah, get be better data. Hopefully. Absolutely. Clean data tells a better story, or at least it makes a story easier to read. Right. Uh, should we talk about our companies uh, really quickly? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we might as well. We're here. Okay. Let me, let me pull up your, where's your booth page? Uh, right here it is. <clears throat> All right. Should I, should I just open up this uh, page here? Yeah, this is, this is okay. perfect. So, right. uh, yeah. Do you, do you want to do you want to you want to tell everybody what we are? Would, <laughs> no, I would no. Love for that. <laughs> I would love for that. You do me, I'll do you. It'd be great. <laughs> uh, so, uh, 
Measurement Marketing, so Measurement Marketing IO is, is our company, is, is my company. So uh, we've got something called the Measurement Marketing Academy, uh, where we're, you know, teaching people how to use tools like analytics and tag management, data studio, and Facebook analytics, and, and really for the purposes of measuring and improving marketing results specifically. So we have a lot of strategies to, you know, how we think about things. Um, those of you maybe have seen some of my courses that I've done for CXL Institute, kind of know our teaching style from there as well. Um, we do our best to make it easy. We kind of come at it from a different direction than uh, what uh, you might see in some other places. Um, try to make it a little more fun, a little more entertaining. Uh, you can see we've got these little, you know, bots and robots. We have a different style uh, when it comes to some things. But the academy itself is really kind of the all you can eat plan that we have uh, available. So we have different editions um, and we don't have to go through through all this, but you know, different editions in terms of if you're just starting out kind of like a freelancer doing this work, you've got course courses that you can take with that. If you are a professional and you wanna kind of level it up, we've got the Academy Pro edition. And then of course we also have uh, Academy for Teams if you're kind of a part of an organization and really wanna make sure your team's got that measurement mindset uh, when it comes to measurement marketing, then uh, we can do that as well. And then Julian, I'll let you kind of jump into to yours. And and I want to say because you know I'm just kudos where kudos comes, man. I learned a ton from your stuff because I know everybody here has and your YouTube channel amongst other things. Um, obviously, uh, Measure School. Um, we're members of Measure School, so I highly recommend Measure School to everybody. Julian's done a phenomenal job um, being part of this industry and, and helping people grow. So again, shout out and like I always say, I stand on the shoulders of giants, uh, <laughs> and you're one of those people, man. So I love what you have done. Love it. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we also just came up with, with a little offer here uh, for people who want to join us at Measure School. We basically uh, do the trainings that you know from our YouTube videos, uh, Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, Data Studio, and beyond. Um, and we have this little community called Measure Masters, and uh, we provide mainly um, learning experience, but also we have these challenges. So that m makes us, um, I have like, built like a little bit around it, um, a, a little challenge course so people can go through actual implementations and make sure that they have implemented correctly. And yeah, um, so that's something you can also check out at the virtual booth if, if you're up for it. Um, we have a little discount there as well for you. But yeah, I'm, I'm just very excited. Uh, let me switch back over here. I'm just very excited. Do you excited want to go through the giveaway too? Oh yeah, we'll do this in a second. I'm just very excited to to also be working with you, Mercer, on on um, this measure summit thing. It's a it's a it's a joint effort, right? It's not something that uh, I have conceptualized and and uh, got into you um, by myself, and then <laughs> needed some help. Um, so we were talking about it in February, right? Um, mm -hmm. And you were still very much busy saying, well, I have this upcoming things coming. Uh, I got speakers. Because yeah, you, we were doing yeah, you, you, speaker you're on the speaker circuit. circles. It was the, you're on the it was speaker the circles. Season. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And so yep. you weren't quite sure about it. And then <laughs> this lucky or unlucky thing <laughs> happened, uh, the, the little pandemic. And now we're still in it. Um, so that's why a lot of people are also at home and watching this, hopefully. <laughs> um, so right time, right place, hopefully. And yeah, um, also the speakers were very much open to, to talk to us. So um, we couldn't have done this without the speakers, obviously, right? So we have cool people and please check out their stuff as well because um, we, we couldn't have made it without them. Yep, 100%. All right, let's talk about some giveaways. Do you want to show those? Yes, let's go back here. <clears throat> And show the giveaways. So the giveaways, uh, yeah. Um, so the giveaway is um, oh, oh, what you can do here is, is win different prizes, right? So Supermetrics gave us this license, and then afterwards we we contacted all our speakers and asked them, hey, do you want to pitch in? And we got some cool prizes from uh, David Krevet. He's giving out um, a license to his course, the Blueprint SEO Training Program. We have verified data that you have already seen, um, a three months account for five audits for five websites. So you could do this on multiple clients. Uh, we have a Google Analytics Masterclass by Krista Seiden, something she actually will announce in, in a course, uh, in, in her course of her, of her uh, when is she actually gonna come on? I think on tomorrow, no? Yeah, tomorrow she's gonna uh, talk about um, her course a little bit. We have um, three signed copies from Brian Clifton's books. I have one, uh, not right here, but uh, I can really recommend these books. We have um, the data and presentation storytelling bootcamp by Leah Pika, something that you also can hear about in her talk 
super exciting product, I think. The All Course Bundle from Ben Collins. Now, Ben Collins is a, um, a Class A speaker on Google Sheets and App Script. Uh, he's also a, a GDE, a Google developer expert uh, for G Suite, something that uh, he has a lot of experience around. So check that out as well. Measure Masters, Measurement Marketing, and we have the we have also three times a Measure Summit All Access Pass. So if you win this and you already have a um, Measure Summit All Access Pass, we are happy to refund you the money. Um, so don't uh, hold off on the on the Access Pass. Actually, um, if you win this, uh, we are happy to give you back the money. But otherwise, you can still um, buy this or um, enter to win one of these prizes. And we will get this all sorted out on Friday um, evening, <laughs> um, my time evening, um, when we draw from this stack all the winners and so on. So you can actually um, sign up uh, in this little form here and you get a re ref URL. Don't use this URL because it's uh, actually uh, a test URL. And then you can share this to friends and you can even get more entries into the giveaway. So that's how it works. And we have already um, loads of people who took advantage of this yeah um absolutely um just anybody that needs support with anything you can ask us questions in the community feature because uh julie and i will both be back there for that uh also in just respond back to my email so if you're getting an email and you're having an issue with login or whatever else just respond back to that because my team is also uh, monitoring that so they can get you answers in the background while uh julie and i are obviously live streaming this event so um cool yeah that's that's pretty much it now we got people in the chat room saying we've got a bromance going on which i happen to say yeah because <laughs> cool. i you know last year we had we had talked initially because we've been looking for a reason to work together for a while yeah. and last year it was like you know we were chatting and it was like well, what if we did like this big survey right. where we kind of send it out to everybody and say like what tools you're using and you know how people are using tag manager or data studio or whatever and kind of do like the state of measurement digital measurement uh, and kind of, you know, have this little survey thing to respond out. And it just didn't quite come together because everybody was really busy with a lot of different things. And then uh, when you came back and you're like, hey, how about the summit idea? And it just sort of, you know, clearly was meant to be because, you know, just with what happened and in the world as we know it. And all of a sudden, you know, the entire world has this one thing in common and we're all at, at home and, and doing all this. So um, it was cool to be able to bring everything together, man. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm. I'm excited to get this started because obviously it was a quite a process to get through all the the interviews with the with the speakers together, um, and then <laughs> hold that data, uh, hold that data, hold that information in and say like, oh, this is great. I mean, on the YouTube channel, you could have already seen some of the little bits of uh, wisdom that came out of some conversations here and there, but it's really great stuff there, and you. Um, you will be surprised in some some of these talks, so I'm really excited to get this started, and also to be <laughs> to have this over, <laughs> because <laughs> it is kind of like a, a strange thing. We have thought through so many use cases of how this could go wrong in terms of techniques and what should we do if something happens here and what should we do if something happens. There. So uh, please be patient with us when there are some rough edges here and there in this in this live stream. But uh, we'll get everybody figured out and um, make sure that everybody gets this information. <laughs> I've been I've been telling my team for the last few weeks that we've sort of just you know it's really really ramped up. Like we went from I think at the beginning of September we had 800 people registered yeah. and then we started promotion, which was part of the plan. We're like, oh, we'll start promoting about 21 days out, and now it's you know up near or over at this point probably 10,000 people uh, registered because it was at 9,000 and a couple hundred at, at earlier this morning. So there's there's a ton of of that has just happened. And so with that, obviously, you know, the challenge of everything else comes from from the scale and everything else that's come on and, and the response and the and handling the emails and building out everything and getting all the, the tech right, as June was talking about. And I've been telling my team this entire time. This is a bit I said in, in September, the thing I was saying was this is the part of the roller coaster where it's going like chunk, 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 and it's kind of bringing you up higher and higher. And then this, where we're actually like, we're live. This is rolling now. I said, at this point, everybody put their hands up in the air, enjoy the ride. Like, <laughs> that's what we're doing. And that's, yeah. that's what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, we're going to have some fun with Just... this. I want to, I want to make sure toward the end that we're having a little happy hour with everybody. That'd be <laughs> kind of cool. Depending on your time zone, maybe yeah. in Australia, to like they'll have, you know, mimosas no. maybe. Yeah. Mimosas with us. <laughs> so we have one question from guest uh, 5115 asking, um, Quick question, are we going to have access to the replays of each session? 
Um, I'm on the free pass right now. Yes, we're gonna have after the the initial um, publishing of the the video that we're gonna see, for example, from Simo in just uh, 15 minutes here. You're gonna have access under sessions up there. If you see in the in the navigation, you can navigate to Simo's talk, and you will have access to it for 24 hours, even if you are a free pass user. Now, everybody who's an all access pass. Um, uh, user or bought the all access pass, you will have access to this obviously forever. So if you are in a different time zone, you can also watch this on the replay. Um, so make sure to check it out. Yes, 100%. Yeah, we, we tried to make it available for everybody. And we knew that you know, with such a worldwide audience, which is which is for me, it's like the coolest thing. Like this is such an international group, not only in, in speakers, uh, which is diversified all over the world, everyone's coming in from everywhere, but the the attendees, like uh, how many of you from all the different countries is just phenomenal um, to see that. So what we should have done is had like, oh, well, here's, you know, who's from what country? We kind of did a little bit in chat. Yeah. Um, we'll have to come up with something like pictogram or something. We'll do a data studio thing, you know, Yeah. Um, and build that out. So we can do that. We're True, yeah. people. We know how to do that. Uh, if anybody wants to do a do... script for it. It'll yeah. be fun. <laughs> so we have people here from Italy, India, um, Palo Alto, California, Sweden, um, Miami, Dubai. Uh, nice. Who else is here? In the Dominican Republic. Uh, who else do we have? Netherlands. Netherlands. Yep. Yes. Great. India, in India, India. Cool. Uh, we didn't even ask people to write their country, in, but uh, I guess uh, people just did it anyway. So uh, that's, uh, that's great to yeah, hear. We, we had a comment way earlier on yesterday when, when we first did our little making this thing live for everybody to kind of walk around and browse. Um, they were doing that. We have Ukraine. Oh, here we go. Ukraine, oh, here we go. Ukraine, yeah. Portugal, <laughs> Ukraine. Ukraine. Estonia. Love Estonia. Russia. Chile. Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Mexico, oh, Romania, yeah. Spain. Awesome. Denver, South awesome. Africa, South Philippines, okay. France. So we have all continents now, right? Oh yeah, I think we got. Is anybody <laughs> in Antarctica? That yeah, Antarctica. Cool. Anybody from? <laughs> See how the Wi-Fi is in Antarctica. <laughs> oh, this is cool. California, Connecticut, UK, Malaysia, Go Brighton, Peru, okay. Canada, Saudi Arabia. This is fantastic. Holy cow! Cool. I love this. Yeah, maybe we can talk uh, briefly about like what is going to go down in about 10 minutes from now. Um, we are going to have Simo on and this is a little bit of a fireside chat. After this will take around, I don't actually know, 40 minutes, 50 minutes. And then um, we're going to come back on live. And if you have any questions or Simo is maybe in the chat, um, you can ask him there. We, we also be able to ask, answer your questions if this is easy questions and not too technical, I guess. Um, and, and, and just chat a little bit and also make you aware of what is coming next. Um, for the next session, then uh, we are going to have uh, Mike Rhodes. And so you always have these these uh, little breaks in between if you want to go um, pee or... Little bio, break. little bio break. Yes, bio break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually know. Like uh, We have so many different countries here and different it's true. people, uh, how you would say it in a correct way in... <laughs> In the UK to, or in the... You need to rest. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be... That's, that's maybe something we can break. figure out over the next the chat five, four days. The best way to... We'll just call it a rest and relaxation break for a few yeah. minutes in between each session. For however that you can do that. That's perfect. Let's see Slovenia, Dubai. Wow, this is, this is crazy. Yeah, this is awesome. Cool. All right. Um... And um, and so, so there was a question there, is it live or all pre-recorded? So obviously this part is live. Um, a lot of the sessions were pre-recorded because we wanted to make sure the tech uh, was in place. We don't want to rely with the the scale of that and relying on somebody else's, adding another variable of somebody else's connection coming in uh, was, was just a bit too much. We didn't want to do that said, SEMO is going to be our our test case on friday because his his talk where he's doing server-side gtm which i know people are interested in hearing about i know i am for a fact that is live so uh in addition to this stream where julian and i are, are chatting obviously live um simo's talk will be live live on friday and that'll be our uh our first foray into bringing in third parties and seeing how that goes because we didn't want to commit to having everything live and then everything sort of just crash because somebody couldn't show up or something like that. So 
Yeah. Um, but they were all uh, recorded very recently. So um, our our uh, our video editors are were not were not having fun with us. We were just, we were slamming them in, but it was good. It was really good. It's great content. Yeah. And again, uh, thank you to all the speakers. If you guys are on the chat. Uh, Thank you for making this possible. Uh, Simo especially, who said he's going to do two talks. So yeah, yeah, that's obviously Simo. two times this time. And he, he was very generous with that. Um, so thank you. And uh, all other, other speakers, uh, it's, uh, it was a quite a wild ride. And I, I must say this, this experience was just great to, to make so many connections as well, right? Um, I mean, Mercer, you are on the speaker circle and you, you meet all these people around the world, obviously. But uh, for me, it was like some people that I just followed and thought maybe I reach out and see if they, they can make it. And that was, uh, was really great, uh, great response as well. Um, so, yeah, I, yeah. I agree. It's, it's like you get to meet your heroes in a way, right? Because we're all, we find out how quickly we are all mentors for each other. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, sure. I've learned stuff from you and I've learned stuff from, from Julius and from Paul. And it's, it's so cool to, to have everybody just sort of give, give back. And everyone's using their superpowers because they all come at it from slightly different angles. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it just helps the entire industry get better, which I, which I really love. And this was just, this is just coming together and all the value that was given here is, is, uh, it's amazing. So I look forward to being able to share with everybody in about nine minutes. So, right. uh, let's see, Tim. Uh, so just so I know it's, it's nip off to the loo in the UK. <laughs> nip off to the loo. I'm going to remember that phrase. I, that's my favorite one so far. Wow. Okay. Um, Pradeep was asking, is Simo going to be very technical? Um, this chat? No. Yeah. Not this one. This will be good. I cannot promise what he's going to do for, you know, GTM. But I, you know, Simo, Simo can probably answer that as he, as he sees us in here, he might um, give us a, an answer to that. But I, I don't know how deeply technical he can go uh, given the audience. So I think the GTM server side thing will be maybe some tech, uh, but, um, but uh, you know, it's going to be live. So we have, you can ask questions and I'm sure he would love that. Um, any questions you have during the live one, not this one, because we're not talking about server side this one. We're going to wait till Friday for that. Um, but uh, he's always technical. He is Simo. This is what he does. He makes that thing do backflips. I love what he does with Tag Manager. Um, uh, so yeah, but I would ask him on Friday when he's doing his uh, GTM, just ask questions there, and that'll help guide because uh, he's very good about going. He'll do deep dives if he if he needs to, and everybody wants that, and he'll, and he'll pull back if he doesn't. So, do you hear an echo, um, Mesa? I do not. Me? Okay. Yes. Uh, let me know. Anybody else screen? have her voices inside their head? Or is that just me? <laughs> is it just me? <laughs> but I, I hear an echo and I don't know where it's coming from. Like thousands of tabs open. It must be here somewhere. Um, probably, probably it's somewhere in the... listening to our live stream, maybe? Yeah, and, uh, it, but anyways, it, um, yeah. I think... As long as nobody else hears an echo, we're good. In five seconds... We uh, in in a few in a minute we are going to go over to a waiting screen and then we're going to go over and uh, see that we can gonna get started. Yeah, no okay, no echo. Good. That's good. Yay! But actually, don't know. Okay, great. It must be through a stream. It's all that modern technology, all those tabs you have open. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think it was something with Vimeo. Now it's working again. All right, um, all let's right. <clears throat> uh, 40 seconds to go, and then we'll just um, head over to our starting screen, and then we hopefully will, through the magic of the internet, have uh, Simo here. Um, and I was going to chat a little bit about what did we chat about? Um, a little bit about uh, GTM, uh, the history, mm -hmm. but also then. Uh, we, this is we, this is our nice like easing into Measure Summit 2020 and and talking about kind of GTM and how it's grown and uh, just the three of us kind of getting together as we as we ramp up Measure Summit. Cool. All right, guys, um, that's it from our side. We will see you back here in about uh, 50 minutes, 45 minutes after the talk. And um, hopefully, if you have something that you want to check on us, uh, we are still in a chat and uh, get figured out. Everybody who is watching not on measuresummit.com, you will now need to go over to measuresummit.com in order to see the live talk with Simo Ahava and, or not live talk, but uh, the, the, the talk with Simo Ahava. <laughs> and um, we are going to cap it off on YouTube and on, on Facebook. And I hope you enjoyed this little pre-show. And then um, I see you in, uh, uh, we'll see you in a bit, right? 
Sounds good. And I uh, I am going to update the the chat because uh, I think it has a 500 limit and we've already hit that. Oh, so, okay. Um, there's our first little like, hey, this is good. And we're going to, so I'm going to, I'm going to upgrade that to the largest that we can handle. Uh, the only thing I would ask is if somebody's not using the chat, uh, just go ahead and log out of it, maybe make room for somebody else. So um, we will, I'll double that limit, but that'll be the max that I can do. So yeah. it'll be a thousand people, but hopefully that'll work. All right. We'll see you all. all right. See time. you soon. All right, welcome everybody to Measure Summit. 
2020. We are officially kicking it off. We have Simo Ahaba in the house. And we're going to do a little fireside chat about Google Tag Manager, which I thought was just a really great way. Julie and I were sitting talking about it, and Simo came to us and said, hey, how about we do this? I thought this would be fantastic. Now, I know, I know this guy needs no introduction to you. However, it is tradition that we introduce our speakers, so we're absolutely going to do that. Simo Ahaba, he is a 